What's good, Sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I continue this video, I do want to give a big thank you to them for actually sending these Robleses out to me. So, as you guys can see by the thumbnail or by what I just said, I will be talking about this company right here. They did send me over three laces and they do look like this. First, I do have this Volt Nike colored one. Then, I do have a gray and black one. And then, I have the black and white one. But before I go on talking about the actual laces, I do want to talk about the packaging and how well they executed it. And it's actually pretty dope. I honestly like their logo a lot because it is rope lace supply and they did make it a shoelace, a rope lace to be exact. However, that being said, they also do sell flat laces such as leather laces, regular just flat laces, rope laces, all kinds of laces that you can think of. Next up is the packaging. They do come in these plastic bags and they are pretty durable. They are pretty thick. And then you see they're winded up in there just like that. This one's like rounded. This one's like zigzagged. I don't know what the difference really means, but it's really simple. Roll blade supply on the top, their logo on the bottom. And on the back, it has like a sizing chart. It says eyelets three to four, length 38 inches, eyelets five to six, seven to six, and then eight, nine to 10. And then they all have different sizes. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm pretty sure they have it on their website as well. And then on the top, it says rope lace supply. And then under that, it says at rope lace supply. So you can go ahead and follow them on Instagram which doesn't exactly specify, but I'm pretty sure it's on Instagram and on Twitter. And then below, it leads you to the website, roleblazesupply.com. It says not to throw away in the trash, to be recycled, and then not for children under three years old. Really, really dope packaging and simple. So it's not like those packagings that you see and they have a bunch of words in the back. It's like, this is too complicated and people don't wanna read that. This is real simple and quick to look at and read. And then you can just go ahead and open the actual bag. I'm an idiot. I'm here trying to rip it. Well, we do know that these things are durable at least, so I can't even rip it with my own hands. Starting off, I am taking out this black and white one. And the reason I'm taking this one out first is because I am thinking about putting these on the YouTube customs. As you can see these right here, they are black and white, but I don't know if they, they don't, on camera they look kind of grayish, but I feel like on here they would look a lot better, especially if I made this black, which I do plan on doing, and then leaving the actual logo and then the font and the letters down there, white. It'll give it a little more contrast to the shoe and I think it'll make it pop, especially with these laces. And then of course these eyelets, but I don't think the lace tips are gonna hold up on this. Like they're already thick enough. Let me know what you guys think. Should I put these on there? The Volt ones on there or the gray ones? Not the Volt ones, cause that's not gonna look good at all. But either the gray and black ones or the white and black ones. Next up we do have the gray and black ones. Oh, and I ripped the bag there. I guess it's not that durable. These are reflective, and I'll try to show you guys to the best of my ability that they are. As you guys can see, they have that little shine to them, so that does show that they're reflective. And these are reflective as well, as you guys can see. These have a really good shine to them, actually, with that contrast, too. I'm honestly very impressed with these laces because they are good quality. Like, even if you try to pull them and rip them, I doubt they're ever going to break. I mean, unless you really abuse them, but they look pretty good quality. The plastic up here looks pretty good. It's not like that soft plastic. It's actually really, really hard. I can I can barely bend it, and I don't want to bend it because I know it will. But that's if I put enough strain to it. These I'm probably gonna put on some Nike shoe. Probably the lunar charge. Nah, I don't know. Lunar charges. The bottom is green. It's like this volt green, but you can't even see it. I don't know. I'll probably put on some Nike that I have around there. Anyways, go check them out at ropelacesupply.com. There's a bunch of laces. I think they have over 150 to select from. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is April 22nd. But before I go, I do want to give a big shout out to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day is Sebastian Villarreal. Anyways, make sure you stay woke. Well.